how many blockchains of different currencies can the world really support? Like it's one of these, it's a classic case of this may be a great idea, but a great idea times a million becomes a lot less great idea. And that's what it feels like we're heading yeah, towards. Yeah, and I, I do agree that, you know, right now there's a lot of competition in this space, and it's a lot of different developers working on these various blockchain protocols, all vying to create the platform that becomes, um, you know, the primary one used for future applications. So there's a lot of competition right now. Um, I think that's why, part of why there is so much noise. Um, but in the end, what that leads to is actually the best technology and the best teams rising to the top. Does it lead to, I'm, I'm curious, does it lead to the fact that just as there's really one internet, there is ultimately one blockchain? Uh, no, not quite. It, it's more like there's, there's lots of websites um, like there might be lots of different tokens or, or cryptocurrencies. And would all those sites be on the same internet? Uh, well, so it gets comp <laughs> it, it gets complicated, frankly. So you know, you, you have individual blockchains, which are basically individual ledgers. Um, but now a lot of technology is coming out um, called parachains, which actually allow you to um, inter you know it allows interaction between various blockchains. So now so now you can have logic execute on one blockchain, but actually trigger an event on a second blockchain. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think the future we're going towards um, it, it's actually hard to foresee what will happen because this technology moves so quickly.